The journey begins with the bite of an infected dog, its saliva carrying the rabies virus deep into the muscle tissue of a human. From this entry point, the virus doesn't travel in the blood. Instead, it seeks out the ends of local nerve cells. Upon finding a nerve ending, the virus attaches and injects its genetic core into the neuron, starting a silent invasion. Now inside the nervous system, it begins a relentless one-way journey, moving upward from the initial nerve into larger nerve bundles. This ascent is slow but constant, as the virus is transported along the neural pathways, next reaching the dorsal root ganglia and entering the spinal cord. Inside the spinal cord, the infection amplifies, with the virus replicating and spreading to connected neurons, creating a bridgehead for the final assault. From here, it's a direct path into the brainstem, where the virus explodes in replication, attacking areas controlling breathing, heart rate, and behavior, leading to agitation and hydrophobia. Finally, to complete its cycle, the virus moves back out from the brain through the nerves, traveling down to the salivary glands to be shed in saliva, mirroring the process in the dog that started it all.